So Arnold Schwarzenegger says voters uh, uh, were right to retain Newsom, calls GOP field uh, disastrous. Uh, L.A. Times, he was a governor in 2003 after recall, said he received a relief. He was relieved that Gavin Newsom kept his job. Still, the Republican added that he was hopeful that the special election was a wake-up call for Newsom that makes him be, uh, perform better. The former Mr. Universe, who remains a registered Republican despite his disagreement, the former Mr. Universe. This is L.A. Times. The guy, <laughs> former Mr. Olympia, and they say Mr. Universe. His disagreements with the state's party's path was harshly critical of the GOP field, and the recall is just uh, disastrous. Uh, he says uh, the Republican candidates, they did the opposite, Schwarzenegger said, such as talking about eliminating environmental law supported by most Californians. So uh, uh, what, what, is, what is going on with you know this Republican governor in California supporting with the way Newsom handled California? What are, your, what are your thoughts about what Arnold's saying here? We, we're seeing it happen right before our eyes. There is no left and right. There is no Republican and Democrat. It's all window dressing now. There are the people, there are the elites who want to control you, the global elites, and then there are the people who just want to be left alone that the, the elites refuse to leave alone. I mean, look at the Emmys in California. These people sit there and they lecture you on how bad your life is while they're multimillionaires grinding up on each other in $20,000 dresses, not wearing a single freaking mask. Meanwhile, the kids in LA have got to sit in cubicles and wear masks all day long. Like, come on, it's insane, man. We're living in two different realities. This, this, this let them eat brunch California elite is out, out of control. And you look at a guy like Arnold, you know, how come he, look, I actually agree. I think the GOP is, is running bad campaigns. The best thing the GOP has done in the last 10 years is just shut up and let people see what the Democratic Party really stands for. That tells you how badly that party is being run on a national and a state level, where the quieter they are, the more people actually listen. And you're seeing F. Joe Biden chants all over the place. But that... He also could have come out and said something to the effect of, hey, national media, how come Larry Elder actually got attacked the way Jussie Smollett claims to have gotten attacked? And you guys didn't cover it. Jussie Smollett claimed to have gotten... Ju- juicy. 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 Smollett. Don't, don't, Juicy. Uh... Juicy Smollett. I mean, <laughs> there was a woman in a gorilla mask throwing eggs at this dude. A, 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 a black guy running for public office, yeah. a woman, a white woman in a gorilla mask throws eggs at this dude, and it was on the, the news for like half an hour. First of all, uh, it, it, there's a part about what Arnold saying is right. Larry Elder, qualified guy. Yeah. He just didn't have enough time to create momentum. His he concession he speech was really good. Who's? Larry's? Larry Elder. Well, Larry's a, Larry's a G. Larry's a guy mm-hmm. that he knows how to deliver the message, probably one of the best uh, in America. But uh, they did not have five, six, seven, eight guys that wanted to get out there and do something about it. Yeah. There, there were certain people that said that I would go against the recall. But uh, the people that could have probably won it, do they really want the life of being the governor of the state of California on the right? I don't know. I don't know if somebody's going to want to do that. They got to they adjust their strategy, Pat. They, they've given up on the cities. If you give up completely on the cities, you can't win. You cannot win by losing the cities by 90%, 92%, 93%. You just can't do it. You have to fight. Look, that's where the voter fraud is happening. That's where it's happening. Voter fraud happens on both sides. But if you can have people go into a high-rise building and literally walk door to door, ballot harvesting, technically illegal, it happens. You go door to door and you can take literally 1,000, 2,000 ballots in each building. You can knock out 10,000 people in a day. In a month, that's 300,000 people. How do you, how do you, how do you recover from 300,000 people? If you just give up on the cities, you gave up on the country. It's done. They, they have, they've got to get in there and fight. What are your thoughts? I mean, I, I just know the state of California, what it's like there with the homeless and the mismanagement of money and going bankrupt. And I mean, even me personally, I have an employee there and I pay state tax there as a, you know, because it's a nexus for us. It's very, you know, I don't understand how they take in so much money uh, yet seem to have no money and, I mean, it just it, California is kind of mystifying to me. I love the I love visiting. I used to love visiting there because um, of the weather, obviously, you know. Um, but man, you go there now, and it's going back to bodybuilding, Venice Beach. You go to Gold's Gym. There's there's tents, tent city all over there. Pete Needles and yeah. people, you know, shitting. Plus, you're not pay, paying your fair share, really. Yeah, it's, it's your fault. It is. You, right? should, you guys should feel terrible. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You just, I feel extremely guilty. Pony yes. up, guys. I mean, you pony left. Up. You left. So, yeah. There's no. Do, do you miss it at all? No. No, I, I miss the friends. Yeah. I miss the restaurants. I miss the, the community. I miss my habits. I miss my drive. I miss the theater I would go to. I'm a guy that's a, you know, <laughs> ritual guy. So I like to sit in the same place, same restaurant, same waiter, waitress. You know, there's certain things I, I like. And that part, I absolutely miss. The weather worldwide, probably the best weather in the world. 
minus a couple other places that could compete with it. But uh, the politics, uh, I'm a freedom guy. And the fact that they don't allow you to breathe and make a decision for yourself, it's just that automatically disqualifies from a guy like me being able to live in a place like that. The whole yeah. purpose of why I work my ass off is because I want to be left alone. That's right. why I work my ass off. It's because just leave me alone, let me do my thing, and uh, I'll create value in whatever community I live in. I'm going to do my best. I'm going to do my part. But if you try to control too much, this reminds me of going back to Iran. I have no desire going back to a place of a lot of control. Think about what you just said. And I know it was a joke and it was hyperbole. Like, you know, they, they, they won't let you breathe. Like, dude, they are literally telling you how and where it's okay for you to breathe. They're telling you what you can do to yeah. breathe. Like, put a mask over, sit down here. If you're standing up, you could do this. If you're sitting down, you could do this. You know, it, like, why is it okay to take your mask off when you sit down? Well, because obviously COVID is only six foot high. Anybody <laughs> anybody five foot two or lower, they, they don't have to wear a mask. Five foot three or above, you know, dude, it makes no sense. They're just addicted to the power. And then you see the mayor of San Francisco who puts in a mask mandate, tells the entire county of San Francisco, the entire city that she's in front of, that, that she's in control of, what they can and can't do, and then goes out partying with no mask on. And then when they call her on it, doesn't even apologize. Says, the spirit of the night took me over. The spirit of the night. I was feeling the vibe. What, what is the meaning of spirit of night? That ecstasy she's talking about? What is she talking about? I, mean, I don't know, man. Dude, it's Was just, it the blue pill or the purple I, I'll pill? I'll tell you what, bro. Anybody listening to this... I'll tell you what, next time, one of these people, and we all know who we're talking about, they want to come up in your face, and they want to tell you how to live your life, you just look them right in the eye, and you say, I'm sorry, the spirit of the night overcame me. I'm just going to go ahead and do whatever I want to do. Yeah. So if you enjoyed this little short segment from the podcast that we did, here's another short segment to watch. Or if you want to see the entire podcast, click over here. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.